10th of May 1940, with Hitler launching his Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, on France. The air striking force went into action the following day, but immediately the ferry battle proved vulnerable, with seven out of eight dispatched on the first mission being shot down. However, the Hawker Hurricane was far from obsolete. Entering service in 1937, it was the first RAF aircraft to exceed 300 miles per hour in level flight, and the first to be armed with eight machine guns. That really was a big leap at the time, mainly down to the work of squadron leader Ralph Sawley in the operational requirements branch of the Royal Air Force. He applied some sound engineering principles to the science of bringing down enemy bombers. But the Spitfire and the Hurricane, both armed with the 303 Browning machine gun, the 303 round, fairly small, standard small calibre round, and a number of experiments and some theoretical physics showed that you needed to really keep a bomber in your sights for up to two seconds to actually bring it down. Most fighters at the time were armed with just two machine guns, which meant that a bomber had a very good chance, even though taking damage, of actually escaping. So Ralph Sawley made the huge leap of going from two Browning machine guns to eight Browning machine guns. And I think it's fair to say we're all glad that the Air Ministry didn't put up the fire. Time for them to upscaled the equipped eight machine guns. This aircraft very much based on the Hawker Fury you've just seen. Owns a lot to the same design. In fact, Hawkers had a look at the Fury, toyed with the idea of taking one of the wings off and seeing what that would produce. Very much the, uh, certainly from a fighter point of view, the year of the buying plane coming to the end, the year of the modern plane coming to the fore. And we see just such a monoplane here, representing in our display today, initially the Battle of France period, which is also represented in the static park by a genuine Battle of France veteran in the form of an aircraft that served with France's Arc de l'Air during that period in 1940, the Curtis Hawk 75 of the fighter collection from Duxford. This aircraft also from Duxford, the Hawker Hurricane 1 of Anglia Aircraft Restorations operated by Air Leasing, and it too is a veteran of that time. By May 1940, this Hurricane was operational with number 245 Squadron. It